time has come to fulfill your dream of joining an IIT. Your dream will be fulfilled only when you have the courage to pursue it. Nowadays, a good number of students comes to me and almost ask the same question. I got a percentile of 94.1, say, in J mains, but here she got 99.3. Am I got the same chance of getting through in JE advanced? Answer to this question is of course yes. You may think, how can this happen? Mine is 94.1 and here she is getting 99.3. Reason for that is simple. JE Advanced is a completely different nature test than JE Mains. In JE Mains, only math is on the difficult lines. Remaining two subjects, physics and chemistry, are comparatively very easy. Whereas in JE Advanced, all the three subjects, math, physics, chemistry, are of above average level. Of course, out of them, one may be on the difficult lines. So the level of the paper completely changes. Now, as the level of the paper changes, your way of attemptation also changes. When you attempt a question, you must have faith in your ability. Yes, I can do it. So, how determined are you to solve a problem? But is dependent on your selection and non-selection in J.E. Advanced. So your level of determination actually determines whether you are going to get through in J.E. Advanced or not going to get through in J.E. Advanced. So level of determination matters. Uh, a famous quote of Vince Lombardi is coming to my mind. Life battle not always goes to the stronger or faster man. Sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Right? So remember this. Life battles don't always go to the stronger or faster. Man. Right? So, your determination should be really good while attempting JE Advanced Paper. Yes, I can do it. But once you think, yes, I can do it, you will be able to do it. This is my point number one. Determination should be really very good. Now, we are left with almost 10 days before your JE Advanced Paper. With good determination, you should only be now in the practice mode. Now you will say, why the practice mode? You studied a lot in past two to three years. Now the time has come to apply that in the exam. You can apply those things in the exam only when you are in the practice mode. So practice mode is a must. On the other hand, in the learning mode, what happens? Whenever you are learn a new thing, old thing will be erased from your memory. Now, I have to use those old things in order to apply those in the exam. So you have not to lose those old things what you have studied in past two to three years, you have to use them or you have to apply them to attempt the paper. That is why you must be in the practice mode in the last 10 days before the JE advanced paper. 
now in the practice mode you should go with the practice only through past year j advance full course test actual test j advance full course actual test now you will say why not the test set by a very big institute actually if you compare the level of the two tests is completely different j advance paper is conceptual in nature whereas the papers given by the institutes are lengthy and complex so there is a difference so you must give only past year j advance paper and these j advance paper should be given in the form of mock mock test paper 1 morning 9 to 12 and paper 2 3 to 6 in this mock test you must follow the rules means ordering of the subjects by right? actual ordering apne kya suchi hai i already told you maths is, is on the difficult side even in advanced paper so maths should be kept as the second subject you are going to choose first subject from physics and chemistry whichever is stronger you can choose those that as the first subject. so proper ordering of the subjects proper time should be given during this mock test in the three subjects proper time means by near about 1 hour for physics 45 minutes for chemistry and 1 hour 15 minutes for maths so mock test means exactly on the same lines on which you are going to give the paper on 28th of august all right you have should try to maximize your output in both the papers paper 1 as well as paper 2 and these papers from 2021 to 2006 in all these are 16 tests past year actual paper and these tests to be given in reverse order reason for that is simple if you are unable to complete all 16 you can complete say 10 12 13 or so all right so your practice mod should contain or should include revision actually through these past year actual papers and each mock test is to be followed by a thorough follow up thorough follow up means first of all you have to analyze whether your planning was correct in the paper or not planning means every year instruction in j advance paper changes in some years there is a very high negative in other years there is a very low negative in some years they introduce a new type in some years they leave certain types so you have to analyze whether your decisions taken at the time were correct if your decisions were correct is okay then proper ordering of the subjects followed or not proper time given to each subject or not all these things to be analyzed and if you stuck up in three questions in succession whether you went for deep breathe in the paper or not deep breathing is a must if you are unable to solve three consecutive questions otherwise your whole paper may get spoiled and the second thing for the follow up is you have to note down your logical as well as numerical mistakes nowadays numerical mistakes are more common then the third point is 
you must see what is a better way of solving the question you must analyze during the follow up better way of solving the question aapke dhyan mein ye way kyon nahi aaya and then with your friend you can discuss the whole paper but friend should be almost of your level so that so that there is a good discussion this method is better this is better so you can compare the methods to solve the questions in the paper so what i want are real real good follow up in the of the all the mock tests so ab uh, this this will continue on till the eve of the jl was paper till 27th on 27th you have not to give any mock test you have not to give any mock test but you can go for the follow up of the test attempted on the previous day follow up can be done but no more mock test on the eve of the exam and during the evenings you should be relatively free now when you are free you will start thinking about the paper no you have not to think about the paper go for a brisk walk of at least 45 minutes or depends on your capacity go for the brisk walk it's a must then you can have a slightly heavier food tum ko gaye heavier food ko heavier food isliye you can have the sound sleep which is very important before the jee advance paper all right so all these steps to be followed what i told you first of all determination should be really very good one thing now if determination is good then you have to be in the practice mode when you are in the practice mode you will be practicing only through past year actual je advance paper and the follow up should include the planning part where you whether your planning was correct or whether your planning not up to the mark i assure you if you follow these four steps very carefully you are bound to get selected in je advance that too with a good rap all right and uh, finally i will like to repeat the same point jo maine teen char baar pure year mein aap logon ko bola hai all power is within you you can do anything and everything believe in that do not believe you are weak stand up and face the challenge okay then all the best for jee advance thank you